Hi, Cappy. Oh shit, hold on, Cappy. <laughs> Let me go get my charger. Hold on, Cappy. I just realized I didn't have my phone on the charger. Okay. Hold on, Cappy. I don't know why the fuck I didn't notice that before I got on camera, but it is what it is. Let me get my charger here. I got a super long charger. It really comes in handy. <laughs> okay. So, hi, Cappy. Welcome back. I hope you guys are uh, doing well. This is going to be for anybody with um, Capricorn placements in their charts. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journey. To you on your journey. <laughs> okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Happy. So let's see. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. Let's get some tea here. Okay, let's get some tea. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Cappy and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cappies and protect me as I channel the messages for Capricorn. This deck... It's called Shadow Love Tea. Bye vibe about it. It's on Etsy. Very good seller. I love them. <laughs> okay. So this came out. We have number 13. You could be doing with a Scorpio. Okay. 13, 313 could be significant. Or number 13 could be significant. Um, so it says deadly weapon. Threatens to leave relationship in order to have the upper hand. Can be physically or mentally abusive. Asserts power physically. Mm. Okay, let me just do one more shuffle. Let's see what's going on, Cappy. Let's see. What's going on for my Cappies? So we have two-faced, okay? So it says, pretends in order to lead others on. Untrustworthy, insincere, playing a game with others' emotions. Strings strings others along, okay? Hmm. We have online bully, okay, wow. Uh-huh. It says, uh, uses threatening communication to get a response out of people, convinces others to harass, tarnishes others' reputation with false narrative. I'm here on my nose. Michelle, let's see. Puppet. It says, no free will, controlled by others, a controlling X in the picture, follows what others say, no backbone or carriage. What else? 21, that reduces to a three. So there could be a Taurus or Libra involved. That's like the Empress. So somebody could be getting someone to bully an Empress or an Emperor online. Okay. Mm. Isolation. It says, prefers to be alone in order to protect from getting hurt. Does not take risk, overthinks, and analyzes without action. Okay, then we have traumatic events, loss of a job or traumatic life events such as an illness or mental depression, putting a strain on the relationship. Okay, you could be doing with a fire sign with all this fire here. Or this is a fire sign doing this weird ass shit. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. So I feel like what Spirit is telling you to do, because there could be some bullying coming up or somebody is, is doing this here. So spirit wants you to just like, I mean, kind of like just ignore it, I guess. Because I don't really, I mean, I'm not really feeling that energy. I'm not going to tell you, oh, hide out and all of that weird ass shit. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you to hide out and do all of that. I just feel like, um... You just need to ignore the shit, okay? People are online bullies, 
online bully. Online is a key word. Okay, somebody here is just a loser. So just ignore it. That's all you gotta do. That's all I'm that's all I'm hearing. And that's all you need to do. Like, especially this is dumb. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Let, let's just see. So you could be like somebody here feels like because you're alone or you'd like to be by yourself that you don't have nobody around protecting you. I feel like your spirit team is getting ready to whoop their ass. Okay, they can think whatever the fuck they want to think. Because you like to be alone or stay alone that ain't nobody there. Okay, or like in the 3D. Somebody is just pathetic. And somebody here... Somebody's either trying to control you or there's somebody, there's someone around someone else that is using that person to like, or somebody around you. What am I trying to say, Spirit? Is using someone, they're hiring people to like bully you or some shit. That's like really, really weird. It's like, bitch, how old are we? We are not in fucking high school and elementary school and middle school. Like, bitch, we grown ass adults. Imagine you being a grown fucking adult and still bullying people. And you shouldn't have been bullying people in school either. What the fuck? What's up? Yeah, justice. Keep playing if you want to. Keep playing. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna start going to court on you bitches. And we got money for court, okay? Period. You bitches got all the mouth in the world. You ain't got no fucking money for court. If we take your ass to court, you're done. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. That shit is ridiculous. So, anyways, what's two-faced? Ain't nobody getting out here tussling with you hoes. Yeah, look at the universe. Will of Fortune. Okay, so something here is turning in your favor, Cappy. I feel like you have good luck, good karma coming in per usual. Okay, nothing new. Um, your spirit team is here. They're watching literally everything. There are some changes that could be coming in. Or because you're going through positive change, I feel like that's... People are just acting up. Yeah, the hangman. Pisces energy. So there could be a lot of changes that are going to come up that could be shifting your perspective about a whole lot of things here, about, a you know, a whole lot of people. Um, I feel like spirit is getting ready to hem people up. Like they are getting ready to be stuck. But the hangman talks about, I feel like you're releasing things that are no longer serving you or you're making sacrifices. And these hoes are the sacrifices. They're two-faced. They're annoying. They're a loser. Yeah, five cups. So I just feel like people are mad. It's just... This is like what they always do. What's the Wheel of Fortune? There could be some sort of sudden realizations or certain things that you're seeing that you don't normally see. The Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Venus. So you could have a whole lot of like opportunities coming in for you. Um, There could be some sort of maybe confusion or... coming up because it is probably just damn retrograde and it's eclipse like so if it is i feel like spirit wants you to like wait and let them just let them guide you really really hone into your intuition your dream state could be giving you signs and signals about certain changes that are coming up but i feel like new doors and new opportunities could be opening up for you um there could also be people that are like confused there's a lot of people that are confused about how something is moving forward you know, what's the will with the seven of cups? Something could be significant around Christmas. Somebody's birthday could be around Christmas or something happened last year during Christmas. Ten of wands. Yeah, that's like releasing, walking away from something. It could just be too. Somebody here is carrying like a heavy burden or it's like dead weight here. Some sort of stress or anxiety or somebody here could be fatigued or this could be you. Some of you guys are being called to just like get rest. If you feel this way, listen to your body. Don't ignore it. There's a lot of changes that are coming up. So you could probably just need to rest. You could have a lot on your plate. A lot of things that you're getting ready to do and you don't know what to do first or whatever. But 
Let me see something real quick. What's this? Yeah, I feel like spirit is, what's the seven of cups? I just heard somebody could be getting a call back from a lot of job offers. It's going to be hard for you to choose which one you want to do because they're all really, really good. So, I don't know. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. What's Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles? Some of you guys are looking for a new home or a new car or, like I said, a job. Yeah, look at the home. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Okay, some of y'all getting married, congratulations. Okay, some of you guys could be getting awarded something or there's a goal that you've achieved here. Someone could have an Aries Venus. There's something that you're getting. Some of you guys are definitely getting a new home, so definitely congratulations. This could be like a gathering, a party, or some sort of like event coming up where this could be like a... a a seminar or it could be one of those uh job fairs or something like that you're attending or it's something like that where it's gonna be money <laughs> this could be i don't know somebody's like confused at how you're getting something bitch it's because the most high is here <laughs> you're just confused because they're never here for you hoes because you're nasty that's why you don't have shit and you're too busy trying to get in somebody else's way. Some of y'all could be on like a stage or this has something to do with like a community. Some of y'all really getting ready to move to a nice neighborhood. Okay, some of you guys like the downtown living. I know I do too, but I'm changing that now because my son like... I want us to be in a nice little, you know, but I, I like the city living though, because I like the fast pace. <laughs> so I don't know, some of y'all are like that, but the tra now the traffic is annoying when they have certain events and all that shit, that shit is annoying. But um, I don't know, this feels like a house though. It does. What's Spirit's saying that they got it. I'm hearing them say, like, I got it. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. Some of y'all are definitely, look at you packing your shit. Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely packing. You're like, how the fuck am I going to do all this? And I got this going on, that going on. I feel like you just need to surrender and just go with the flow. You know, don't do the most during this retrograde. What's the Ten of Wands? Oh, yeah, justice in the reverse. <laughs> yeah. Somebody getting their ass beat like the fuck I said. So Libra energy. So somebody is not taking accountability for some shit. They don't want to take accountability for something. Somebody's a liar. They're a loser. Just like I said, things are imbalanced. Motherfuckers is way down. They look raggedy. What's the Ten of Wands with the Justice in the Reverse? Somebody, because somebody's not taking accountability for something, they're going to keep getting fucked up. What's the Ten of Wands with Justice in the Reverse? They keep lying and shit. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, exactly. The truth I just told. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there, this Ace of Swords is like an aha moment. It's a breakthrough. People getting karma. <laughs> they getting karma. They getting karma. In order for you to have this breakthrough, I feel like. It's time for people to, to like really, really feel this shit. Okay, they're getting ready to feel it. Somebody's getting karma for being a two-faced loser. <sighs> Playing a game with others' emotions strings others along. <laughs> mm. So somebody is way down. They tired. <laughs> okay, what's the hangman? The truth is coming out about these people. What's the hangman? Yeah, the king of cups. Scorpio, what's the hangman here? Somebody here knows. It's crazy because I feel like somebody, obviously, they always know the truth, but they don't ever want to take accountability. It's like somebody's going to keep getting fucked up until they do. Like, dead ass. Queen of Wands. We got Aries. We got Scorpio here. It could be significant.
somebody here could be realizing how much they love you or the, or the fact that they have feelings for you or some shit. I feel like somebody really sees you as like independent. You're a hard worker. You're very passionate. You're very sexy. Okay, you do your thing, period. Um, Somebody could be stuck with someone else and they have feelings for you too. Okay. <laughs> What's uh? This could be a guy though. As you're releasing, I feel like there's a specific guy here that just don't play about you. That yeah, the five of pentacles. What's the king of cups? I feel like you could be feeling very confident right now. Um, yeah, the two of swords. Mm. So a stalemate, yeah, the ten of swords. A stalemate, a choice between two. Or somebody's like in denial. What's this king of cups with the two of swords? Libra moon. Let me see. Somebody got to choose between two paths or two people. Yeah, the five of excuse me, the five of cups. Oh, okay. So for some of you, I'm getting this king of cups could actually be your lover. Okay. Like, I feel like this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody else is in this Five of Cups, Two of Swords energy. I mean, this could be a King of Cups that's like this, but I'm getting this This is someone else's energy. Somebody feels blocked or left out or confused. Okay, they're out of stalemate. Something is blocked. They're blocked from doing something because your God is stepping in. I, I really feel like that's a God, but I mean, it could be a person. Yeah, the Empress. I feel like that's a God. Somebody here is still stuck, though. If this is a person, they're still stuck. They don't know what to do. I feel like they're sitting in indecision and confusion. There could be somebody, too, that wants to call a truce or they want to make something right with you with the Two of Swords. Somebody has to face their fears. But, I mean, I don't know if they're going to do it or not. And I don't like to ponder over if they going to do it or not. Because I don't, like, a lot of these readers be like, oh, they want to do this. They want to do that. Well, bitch, are they doing it or not? I don't really see no action. I see somebody's like stuck. They stuck. So someone could have, there could be some sort of hurt or pain here that's sitting in some, someone that they need to release. Could be resentment or grudge or something. Somebody here is not um, showing their true feelings or something like that. I feel like it's just like a lot of in denial shit going on. Okay. Somebody just stay in denial. What's up, uh, the Queen of Wands? I feel like I feel like you're making a choice. You're choosing to go somewhere else, and you're the one releasing. You're the one making sacrifices, okay? Because I feel like the ball is in your court. Yeah, the the Knight of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? Knight of Wands. Sagittarius. Mm, the Sun in the Reverse. Leo here, Aries, literally Aries, Leo said, I mean, Aries, Leo Sage. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Somebody here. Somebody here had high hopes for something, but they was let down. I feel like somebody sees that you're very confident, okay? And you're not going to play games. This King of Cups, Queen of Wands could be together. Like, they're stuck together or they're stuck with each other, okay? They both getting karma or something like that. But, because it's like somebody here got feelings for you and they stuck in a relationship is what I'm getting with somebody else. They sad, they in regret, whatever. This Queen of Wands has complete power probably over this person's emotions is what I'm getting. Okay, whoever this is, they in and out, they're a player. I feel like somebody's like miserable, they're unhappy or whatever. But if this is you right here, I feel like there's people that have, like they had high hopes for something and they didn't get what they wanted. With the sun in reverse, that's like somebody that's not feeling victorious or happy or they're miserable or they don't feel too enthused or this is you. I feel like somebody just is realizing that you're confident, you're in control of your own life. Somebody here doesn't control shit. You don't give a fuck about a fake ass bully, a punk ass bully online doing some shit. And you're not finna be sitting up here fighting these ratchet, raggedy ass hoes about anything. Especially if this is about a relationship or 
about your destiny, your purpose, your calling. It's like, bitch, you're a nobody. And you're not going to make me stoop down to your level. We're just going to ignore you and move the fuck on and clown your ass. Just like how the fuck you sitting up here talking shit about us for no damn reason, bitch. We got a reason to laugh at your ass. A real good one. So, I don't know. I'm getting... I just really feel like somebody still got feelings for you and they, they're like, wow, I can't believe that this person is breaking free. They're confident, they're bold, they're courageous, they're, they're empowered, they feel empowered, they're this, they're that. They have some high hopes for some shit. What, what's the, let me see, what's this Knight of Wands real quick? I want to see something. What's the Knight of Wands? The devil in the reverse. Okay, I want to pick it up in the reverse. Capricorn. Could be another Capricorn here. Or this is you, Cappy, releasing the devil. Some sort of toxicity or some sort of connection. Okay, I feel like you took your power back, this period. Yeah, the Empress. What's the sun in the reverse? I feel like somebody tried to do something. Yeah, the Page of Swords. Somebody here tried to, like, do something, and they failed. I don't know what the fuck they just tried to do, but they, they definitely failed. I feel like somebody was hoping that you would get scared enough, or they had some sort of control that you would just... I don't know what the fuck they was thinking they was doing, or what they think they're getting ready to do, but it's just not going to work. Page of Swords is like someone here watching you. Okay, they're definitely watching you a lot. <laughs> Some sort of plan or strategy or something. Or this is like little petty ass gossip. Page of Swords upright is that. It's like petty gossip, little stupid shit. Okay, what's the Page of Swords real quick? Somebody thought that something was going to... Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is watching someone that they're holding on to. Or somebody's like holding on to some shit. They're miserable. Like dead ass. This could be even like a man. This King of Cups could be like moving forward. They could be just following their heart or... They could be in regret about you. I feel like that's something that they're realizing. They're realizing something about you. Because there was a bitch here that was gossiping and talking shit. What's the online bully? And this shit wasn't true. What's the online bully here? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, a bunch of bitches that got a group up with a whole bunch of losing hoes like them. That's what I'm saying. What's the online bully with the Three of Pentacles? So I feel like, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Exactly, or Ten of Pentacles. That's what you're focused on. You don't give a fuck about none of this shit that's going on. I feel like you're working... Okay, you're building, you're nurturing, whatever this is that you've been built upon. Okay, something is growing. This is definitely wealth, inheritance, great investment. Some of you guys are collaborating or you're working with others or you're getting ready to. Okay. I feel like you really put in a lot of work. You're very hard working. You learn from your past mistakes. Like, I don't know what somebody thinks that they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, the high priestess with the king of wands and the, the high, the, I mean, the queen of pentacles, the king of wands, the high priestess and the everything is fine. Somebody really thought they was going to tamper with your confidence, your self-esteem, and they're not. Like, what's this three of pentacles? Someone could have a Taurus Saturn, yeah, the hermit in the reverse. What's three of pentacles with the hermit in the reverse? The King of Swords and the Death card, period. Now everybody's scared. They're paranoid with the Hermit in the reverse. So I feel like you're getting a collaboration anyway. Sometimes I see this too as like your spirit team grouping together. <laughs> but I feel like you're collaborating. You're working with other people or you're getting the recognition and the shit that you deserve. Like you deserve something. Somebody feels like you don't. Well, bitch, it's clear that you don't and you're not getting it. So, okay. I think I said that for Leo. Yeah, um, so we got Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo.
Yeah, Ten of Swords, gossiping, slander. <clears throat> Could be cursing. Somebody's like cursing or doing a lot of spell work, literally. Okay. I feel like this King of Swords right here. Now, this could be Archangel Michael, okay? But I feel like this could be a person that is finally, like, ending something with a third party. This King of Swords could be, like, because with them upright, they are someone of high st high standard, okay? They're raising their standards, rather, or they're setting boundaries. Someone of integrity, okay? They're very analytical. They're very logical, I feel like something could be ending with this person, but I feel like they're ending something with the third party. I guess possibly in hopes that they can be with you. Some of y'all getting ready to like sacrifice this person. You're gonna make a sacrifice to get rid of them because they were they were a puppet. They maybe listened to these third parties or they let these third parties do whatever the fuck they, they think that they were gonna do. And it's just like, you don't got time for that shit. The Hermit in the Reverse could be Coming out of hermit mode, finally like speaking up with the king of swords and ending something for good. Somebody has learned a lesson from the past. They learned from their past mistakes. So either it's this king of swords or it's you. What's the, who this king of swords right here? Or this just them being nonchalant, aloof, or like they don't know what the fuck going on. What's the king of swords? I feel like you don't got time for that bullshit either. Right, the temperance in the reverse and the six of swords in the reverse. Okay. Uh, Sagittarius and the six of swords in the reverse. I mean, Sagittarius and Aquarius, Mercury. So yeah, somebody's being an antagonist. Okay, this is like antagonism. Somebody is a damn bully, they're a loser. This is definitely discord, drama, okay, disharmony. Six of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody is standing their ground against some sort of antagonist or like where, wherever some sort of discord is. I feel like you stood your ground or this is Archangel Michael blocking some shit out. I feel like because uh, this this could be talking about two trouble headed some one way. Somebody trying to run away from their consequences too. It's like real weird. But this could be talking about like... out of the frying pan and into the fire type energy like something getting worse or escalating is what i'm getting somebody here could have gotten to like an accident too people getting a karma somebody could actually be sick or hurt okay like real shit either this is an actual masculine that's finally standing up to a bully or this is Archangel Michael here blocking some shit from even touching you or even coming your way. As soon as they feel like they're going to open their mouth, I feel like spirit is going to fucking sew them lips, them dick suckers closed, bitch. It's like, close your mouth. Shut the fuck up. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Kind of vibe. Mind your damn business. What's the hermit mode? I mean, what's the hermit in the reverse? like yeah the moon yeah this is fear the hermit in the reverse with the moon yeah so, so somebody feels hella isolated trapped stuck okay i feel like somebody is stuck in this mess though they're stuck in it and they might be coming out of it by actually standing up for once in their life but that don't mean that they're coming your way Somebody here want to make something right. That's why the Five of Cups is here. But I feel like your heart is open for somebody else or your spirit team just not dealing with the fuck shit. They're not going to allow this shit to come in the way of whatever you're building. And if you allow it, then that's on you. You got free will. But I'm just saying, yeah, the Fool, the Ace of Cups and the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Swords and the World. I feel like, yeah, online, Ten of Swords with the World. I feel like somebody's just a loser. The Emperor, the King of Wands, the Empress. Yeah. Um, I 
So somebody's in fear with that hermit in the reverse and the moon. Somebody feels isolated, trapped, stuck, whatever. A lesson has been learned though somewhere with some damn body. With the three of pentacles. What's the seven of pentacles? The lovers in the reverse. I was seeing that shit in my head too, the lovers. I was getting it with this number 51 here. That's six. Yeah, I was getting the lovers. I should have said it. But Gemini energy. So I feel like somebody's evaluating something. They're evaluating why y'all disconnected or why there's a disunion between you and somebody. Because definitely a third party got in the way. That's just period. Because they run their fucking... They run their mouth too damn much. Okay. So the lovers in the reverse is a disunion. It's discord. Or somebody's trying to figure out if they made the right investment by not investing in something anymore. Okay. This could be like somebody like questioning something or second guessing something. Somebody's like waiting for you and somebody to to like be on be at odds with each other. I feel like it's not happening. The lovers in the reverse is somebody here that has trust issues. They won't take accountability either. What's the seven of pentacles? I feel like somebody looking at somebody like, damn, you really a losing ass bitch. I I just feel like somebody's like staring at someone, looking. It's like they're like, wow, you're lame. What's the seven of pentacles? With the lovers in the reverse, or. Somebody made the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah, somebody's like, oh, okay, I see why you walked away. I see why. Somebody, yeah, the Eight of, Eight of Cups is literally seeing the bigger picture of a situation. Like, walking away, seeking some sort of answers, solitude, trying to just do some sort of soul searching. I feel like, too, somebody's trying to convince them that they did the shadow work. 10, 10 on a clock, you guys will be seeing that they changed, they didn't, they're still the same loser, okay, that they've been. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but this definitely is a disunion though, it's a breakup. Somebody's like walking away. Or you did already. I feel like you could already be invested in something, but you're you're probably looking back. I mean, this is retrograde. That is a time for review of the past. So you could be looking back here to try to figure out if you made the wrong decision. But I feel like you didn't. They did. Somebody here walked away from you. And now I feel like that's what they're looking at. What's the puppet here? No free will. Three of Cups. It kind of like feels like this. I don't know why you bitches. I don't know why somebody is scared of this third party. Like, I really don't understand that shit. But, I mean, obviously, it, it could be abuse, obviously. So, I'm not going to say that. But, because the bitch, I just know they're abusive. I, mean, I just, we can we can see it. So, we got the three of cups. What's the puppet here with the three of cups? The tower. So, something shocking, something revealing, or things falling apart. Yeah. Six of cups. Three of swords, the star, the hierophant, the ten of cups. Something could be coming out about a friend group or your friend, their friends. Okay, or this is just you celebrating, having a good time while somebody else is going through a tower or whatever. What's the what's the three of cups? The shrunk card. What's three of cups with the shrunk card? Leo here. Ten of cups in the reverse. Mm-hmm. 
so a divorce somebody could literally be having a divorce party <laughs> okay or celebrating a breakup like dead ass ten of cups in the reverse you guys will be seeing three 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 this is also like somebody faking a relationship this is a fake ass relationship very much so dysfunction unhappiness discord there's always some drama going on over here okay with well, whatever this is ten of cups in the reverse it's like somebody's just really unhappy but they pride and their ego could be getting in the way or this ten of cups in the reverse with the shrimp card i feel like there's something that you're going to overcome or something that you've overcame okay somebody here is using other people to like make you mad or upset and it's just like bitch, none of it's working you guys could definitely be seeing 10 10 10 of swords 10 of pentacles what's this ten of cups in the reverse Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Somebody here lying, cheating. What's Ten of Cups in the reverse? With the Seven of Swords, Aquarius Moon, the nine, the Nine of Cups. So somebody's in a relationship just for sex and self gratification only is what I'm getting. I'm also getting um. Somebody definitely in your family did this shit. Definitely in your family and in your friend group. I feel like they all know each other. They all obviously this is like an ex. Your ex could know other people in your family or your ex obviously knows people that you knew, okay? So, they all turned against you. They're all weird as fuck. Uh, Pisces, Jupiter here. Um... Somebody here, too, is lying about a pregnancy okay like somebody could be pregnant what's this what's this seven of swords man what's seven of swords somebody could also obviously they're trying to tarnish your name you have the five of wands somebody's like planning or strategizing on how to fight or argue or somebody's like trying to run away from something this is so much drama. <laughs> like, this is a mess. Somebody literally got someone in your family or got other people to kind of like strategize and plan out all of this shit. Like, who the fuck has the time? That's how I know you bitches don't have no fucking money. And if you do have money, it's getting ready to get snatched the fuck back because you're taking it from other people. You definitely ain't got no morals or integrity or ethic code so we know that you're stealing from other motherfuckers so i don't know it's just real weird somebody's like in hiding the fact that they're in competition with you somebody in someone's family somebody that you broke up with or they broke up with somebody that someone got kids where there's a broken family here this person is running around with your friends or people that you call your friends somebody hid the fact that they're in competition with you like what's this nine of cups yeah the, something about a child is significant yeah two of pentacles somebody here is like pregnant somebody could be sleeping with someone's friend or family member sibling uh, somebody here could be a reader you could be coming into some sort of fortune fame good luck prosperity Somebody literally got other people to lie. I feel like somebody, too, is not a real tarot reader. They just do it because that's where you're at. Somebody here is a reader or something like that. And I feel like, or you don't have to be, you could be somewhere else. And it's like somebody here literally got other people at your job or wherever you're at to, to, to stalk you, to watch you, to do this and do that. And they're not even a real spiritualist. They're just a loser. They're not a real worker, whatever the fuck the work is. <laughs> okay. Someone only does something for money and gratification. It's like somebody's a reader just for money. They're not doing shit to help nobody or guide anybody. They, they just, I don't know. They look dumb. <laughs> like, I just feel like somebody here can want to reconcile with you or be your friend again or whatever this is. Or this is you celebrating or whatever. 
I feel like somebody's definitely like a two-faced loser. Your friends are two-faced and the bitch that you slept with or had, had kids with is two-faced too. Bitch is not gender specific. Bitch could be a man or a damn woman. Okay. What's the tower? Somebody's like, somebody go home or whatever and argue with their spouse. And then they sneak off and go run to run to these friends or these bitches here that they started all this shit with. Like, why the fuck you da 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 I told you not to do that. I told you not to tell. I told you not to do that. It's like, bitch, what? It's like so weird. What's the what's the tower? <laughs> something could be happening at an event or something like that. Or it's supposed to be a celebration, but there's going to be a fight or something. What's the tower? I just, yeah, the queen of cups exactly with the king of cups. Two of cups. That's who the fuck you're with, I feel. I feel like you're actually with that person or you're going to be. And somebody else wants the two of swords, five of cups. Whoever this is in regret is looking back at the past now. They want to call a truce. They want to face their fears and call a truce. But I feel like they're stuck there at a stalemate. They don't know how, okay, or whatever. All they know is that, what, the king of swords, they got to get out of this damn third party mess. Is what this sounds like to me. It's like they learned a very valuable lesson, three of pentacles. I bet they did. Or something is shocking. This could even be you and this person, which is why they've turned into the King of Swords. This could be the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups that like, could be actually you and somebody that actually care for each other. That's what's shocking. The fact that you actually care for them because so much was orchestrated behind the scenes. I had this person confused, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody here made it seem like you were not caring about this person or vice versa and just to keep y'all two apart it's like bitch and you still lost you and this person might not get back together or you could i don't know it's 50 50 okay but i just feel like you know somebody here really did a lot to keep two people apart and it's like bitch you're still a loser you're still getting left you still ain't got no money you're still a fucking clown you still don't have no purpose you're still fighting arguing bickering every day all day you're still not taking care of your kids you're still not getting your lazy ass up and going to work bitch you're still not washing your raggedy ass you're still not changing your damn wash rag, your toothbrush. You're still not doing anything. What the hell is the tower and the queen of cups? Somebody's just pathetic. Them and these bunch of these hoes talking about bullying somebody online. What's the tower with the queen of cups? Yeah, the nine of wands. Yeah, so something not going as planned. Someone could have a sag moon. Something that's not going as planned here. This nine of wands talks about being defensive or fighting back or... You know, kind of like standing your ground, standing your corner, just period. Fighting your corner. Um, this talks about resilience. I feel like somebody is finally seeing what you've been going through or, or something like that. Because it's like you're the only one that doesn't know about this weird ass shit. Okay. And I feel like they didn't either. Really. Whoever this, whoever this person is. I mean, I don't know. They could or they couldn't. I feel like it's 50-50. I feel like it's 50-50. And they just wasn't standing out. They just wasn't standing up to this person. Or I feel like a third party... This could be this person's ex that was going behind their back talking to people that were betraying this person. This King of Swords. Okay, behind their back. They got family and friends working against them and everything. What's the Queen of Cups with the Nine of Wands? Yeah, the, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's realizing why something moved so slow or why they couldn't really get to you or whatever this is. Knight of Pentacles is someone that's reserved or they're kind of like, they kind of like, they could be closed off, you know, very slow moving or very cautious. That's how, that's how these third parties wanted this person to move this way. They wanted to move this way with you. I mean, they wanted this person to do that with you. I feel like you're a very hard worker. You're very loyal, dependable, trustworthy. I feel like you were very patient with this person, child. <sighs> What's isolation here? You don't got time for nobody that, that don't got no damn backbone. What's isolation? Prefers to be alone in order to protect from getting hurt. Yeah, the five of swords in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody's going to jail. Literally, the Five of Swords, Eight of Swords is being arrested or your ass going to spiritual jail. You think you're going to sit up here and try to bully somebody 
bitch, somebody's going to collect the evidence, all the shit that you're saying, and they're actually going to take your ass to jail. There's the hierophant. So that's what I'm saying. You bitches need to really keep it up. There's the judgment. Okay, that's court, bitch. Five of swords in the reverse, though. Eight of swords is jail. <laughs> Definitely somebody getting arrested. Let's see. What's isolation with the five of swords in the reverse? Uh, now they want to isolate because they feel embarrassed or they don't want to do the shit no more. It's like, bitch, you're a pussy ass hoe. What's isolation with the five of swords in the reverse? Yeah, look at this lying ass bitch. Gossiping ass loser. Yeah, ten of pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I feel like somebody, honestly, with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, beside the Five of Swords in the reverse, somebody here is escalating some sort of revenge plot. Like, they want to be revengeful, spiteful. I feel like they're mad because they raggedy ass going through a divorce. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So the King of Swords. So this is this King of Swords' ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or whoever the raggedy hoe is. But somebody's a liar. They're a liar. Somebody is getting, somebody feels embarrassed or publicly humiliated or somebody feels defeated. They just gonna have to walk away. Surrender. <laughs> it's kind of like, bitch, surrender. Let it go. Let it go. Somebody's like bitter. This is somebody bitter ass baby mother or they bitter ass mama or whoever the fuck this is. What's this five swords in the reverse? <sighs> the fool, exactly. What's five swords in the reverse with the fool? Yeah, I feel like you just kind of like are in this energy where you're just like, you don't give a fuck with the fool. I feel like somebody's just finally surrendering something and just saying, fuck it. Okay, I'm just let this bitch run her raggedy ass mouth. Oh, that's it. What's the five of swords in the reverse with the fool? That's exactly what you need to do because I feel like, you know, and if you want to take this bitch to court shit, I would. This five souls in the reverse with the fool. Fuck all that. You're not going to keep trying to bully me online, bitch. You can go to jail for that, for being a fucking cyber bully. So, yeah, the three of wands talks about growth, expansion, new opportunities coming in, your ships coming in. I feel like um, somebody's just mad because you're growing, you're you're moving forward, and I feel like you somebody feels defeated by you, or they feel like you won. It's like, bitch, wasn't nobody even in competition with you in the first damn place? This is all in your delusional ass mind. <laughs> Some of you guys could definitely be traveling. The Fool, the Chariot, and the Three of Wands. Some of y'all are definitely like moving, traveling, or this could just be moving on up in life. It's like you're growing, you're expanding. Okay. Love won here. Love always wins. I don't know what you hateful bitches be thinking that you're doing. But love always wins. With the chariot, that's like triumph. Being triumphant, victorious. Something being successful and balanced. Pushing through any kind of challenges, adversity. I feel like you're just... You don't give a fuck. Yeah, you got money to make. You got real shit to do. You got a purpose to serve here. <laughs> you don't care about no damn body and running their fucking mouth. What's the Queen of Swords in the reverse? Somebody's very rude and just like ratchet as fuck. What's Queen of Swords in the reverse? This is, yeah, the everything is fine. This is the person that's talking about you. Could be a Gemini here. Somebody here that fakes their wealth. They live beyond their means. They ain't got no fucking money. Or they, if they did, their whole empire and everything is crashing down. They going through a divorce or they're a thief. <laughs> somebody's just a thief somebody's trying to steal your inheritance by running their mouth or trying to gain clout off you it's like bitch this what's the queen of swords in the reverse with the everything is fine yeah the six of pentacles here yeah somebody's just a clout chaser they want some money or they like i said they need some money <laughs> they're trying to gain literally they're trying to make money off or talking shit about you that's all this person is doing that's it somebody here sees that you're getting gifts donations Okay, or whatever. There's like equal give and take here. Reciprocity. <laughs> Equality. What's the Six of Pentacles? You got a Seven of Wands. Somebody here need money. They're like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to bully this person until you come back. It's like somebody's petty as fuck. It's like, bitch, yeah, all right, you're really going to be broke. Left out on the street and some more shit. Hey, your kid's gonna be gone every damn body fucking with uh whoever the fuck this is. I feel like somebody not playing with this bitch. 
They're not, like, I feel like you're not playing. I'm not playing. Ain't nobody playing with this hoe. So, Leo Mars. Somebody here got someone blocked. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> What's Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Eight of Pentacles. The Hierophant and the Two of Wands. Taurus here. We got Aries, Mars. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is just... They're just so mad. You could be a spiritual guru, a spiritual leader with the Hierophant. I feel like you're progressing here with whatever you're doing for work. Eight of Pentacles. You got Virgo in your chart or Taurus or whatever. Aries. Excuse me. But I feel like something here is progressing. Something could be progressing with a spiritual union as well. Somebody's trying to steal your inheritance because they shit falling apart. Whatever this is that's inherited. This could be like an inherited connection that's very spiritual. Or I'm also getting something about your money too. Yeah, look. The High Priestess. Exactly. The High Priestess. The Star. The Page of Cups. Yeah. That's you and your person. That's something here is progressing. I feel like that's you and somebody new. This could be new. Page of Cups. With the star and the high priestess and the hyphen together. That's an actual counterpart connection. And it's moving forward. So, like I said in the beginning, it's just giving me that same energy, especially with the fool showing up, three of wands, and the chariot. It's just like move forward. There's nothing that you really even need to do. Why go back and forth with a lying ass bitch? Like, somebody just lies all the days of their fucking raggedy life. That's all they do is lie. So, what the fuck you need to go back and forth for? Especially if you know that they're lying or there's some shit that's made up or you know what this is about. It's like, why even give it anything? It's just like ignore this delusional hoe. They're delusional. They're delusional. <laughs> Just stay focused on what the goal is. Stay focused on whatever you're working on. Just stay focused. That's it. So we have child. Yeah, number 13. Again, you guys could definitely be seeing 13, 13 or 313. So it says beginnings, innocent, brand new creativity, spontaneous, carefree, inexperienced, tender, new perspective, and boy. Okay. So this could be a man or whatever. Somebody could have a little boy, so congrats, or you could be um whatever. <laughs> but I feel like somebody is growing up or they need to. Somebody is learning something new or they're new to all of this shit that's going on. What else? Somebody has shifted their perspective. It says number 10, mortar and pestle. Blend, brew, alchemy, concoction, medicine, breaking things down, making something else, potions and spell work. Oh, okay. So somebody here, some of you guys could be learning something new. You could be into divination practices. Okay, you could be doing like earth magic or... You could be a reader as well, or you could do, you could be a practitioner, I meant to say. Okay, we got the devil behind that. So somebody's doing spell work. Okay, they're doing black magic. Okay, rather. So, mm, that could be what's coming out. Some of you guys could be into herbs. You could be into holistic medicine, or you're looking for you a nice holistic medicine doctor. Yeah, we have Wolverine. Fierce, unpredictable, wild, power struggles, assertive, possessive, renegade, fearless, determined, and elusive. Some of y'all definitely have a new opportunity. I don't know if this could be what you're studying or something. What's mortar and pestle? Book. Yeah, memory, hidden, mystery, secrets, the unknown, philosophy, intellect, knowledge, education, manuscripts, and author. Some of y'all could actually be writing a book here. Somebody's name could be author. 
okay? Some of y'all are writing in like your book of shadows or some of you guys are witches. You could be white witches. I don't feel like you're dark. What's the what's the mortar and pestle with the book? Or it's like you're studying something. The element of air. It says likely it's developing. It says intellectual, idealistic, communicative, curious, inventive, bright ideas, diplomatic, cold, cold, alert, gathering information, yet mental acuity and clever. Somebody here trying to do spell work on you. <laughs> it's a archer. Careful aim on target, shoot, go to go to guy or gal. Yeah, direct, quick, precise, focus, matchmaker, implement a strategy. <laughs> Somebody here trying to like do some sort of spell work here, bitch. Okay. Maybe spirit could be telling you, I don't know if this is a very, very spiritual connection. You're the high priestess. You could actually be just very, very spiritual. And your person is more practical. They're more, not in the matrix, but they're more 3D based. Like they're more practical. Like I said, some of y'all could need to do maybe some sort of work to protect your union. Okay. Possibly. You and your person could be getting into like herbs. Um, Y'all could be studying philosophy or you're st studying mythology is what I just heard. There's something that someone is new at or this could be just these damn losers that's trying to study some shit or do something that they don't know shit about. What's child? Or some of you guys need to change your diet. Okay, there could be a child on the way. So you can need to incorporate more herbs and more healthy eating habits into your diet. But yeah, we have Queen of Earth. So it says Taurus, fixed sign. A year from, the timing is a year from now during the spring, April 21st to May 21st. So for some of you, this could be um now, since we're going into this season like that, okay? Or this could actually be a year from now. Everybody on different timelines. So I guess for those of you that's not that don't know shit about this reading right now, come back in a year. <laughs> okay, a lot can change within damn three months. So I don't know. So yeah, somebody here could be a Taurus, or you got Taurus in your chart, Cappy. Somebody has shifted their perspective about this this Taurus, this boy, this whatever. I shifted their perspective about this story. Some of you guys with the Queen of Pentacles, you are um, white witches here. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Mm. Okay, so what's Wolverine? We got this in the reverse. So we got geese on a quest, migration, relocation, dependable, know where you're going, leaves no one behind. Cyclical and faithful in the reverse. Yeah, possessive, renegade. <laughs> Somebody. I feel like you could be very unpredictable. Okay, like somebody's like trying to figure out what you're going to do next or what, what you're. Somebody's trying to figure out what you're doing. They're trying to figure out what you're studying, what you're learning, this and that. So whatever you're studying or learning, I feel like you just need to keep it to yourself. Until it's time for you to kind of like come out with it. Somebody's like studying you, watching your every move. It's this fucking losing ass queen of swords in the reverse. Because they definitely watch you online. You could definitely obviously do work online here. You have a lot of admirers or people admire you. They're trying to copy you to get this damn man to be interested in what they're doing. But they're copying off you. What else? So, yeah, so we have stars here. So, yeah, with the stars, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or you could be on the cusp here, Cappy. So, yeah, woman, you could be in the public eye. They say wishes come true, peace, miracle, dream, falling in love, hope, inspired, providence, blessed, and nighttime. You guys will be saying 616. Yeah, we have this queen of air, which is Aquarius. The timing is within two to four weeks during the winter, January 22nd to February 21st. Something could be happening within um two to four weeks here. This queen of air. 
Okay, that's the star again. Um, you can have Aquarius in your chart. I feel like you guys could publicly speak. Yeah, you do something online where you're being seen. I feel like you breathe life into people, just period. Okay. Or I feel like you're very um intelligent. You speak your truth or you speak the truth. Something could be happening within within um a wish of yours could be coming true within two to four weeks. So we have cross, destiny, spirituality, yeah, divine guidance, trials, necessity, conviction, sorrow, emotional loss, duty, crisis, and fate. Let's see what's cross here. Yeah, we got the sun energy, Venus, Venus, goddess of love here. So Taurus, Libra, child. Some of y'all are pregnant with something. You're pre I said pregnant with something. You could be pregnant with a new project. Like you're, you've conceived a new idea. Okay, or you're pregnant with a child. Some of y'all are going to have a little girl. Okay, what's the cross here? Gaia, Mother Earth. Yeah, Taurus, Libra energy again. But I'm getting Taurus with this. Gaia is like Taurus energy. So it says inner identity, grounded purpose, experiencing duality, inner versus outer worlds, axis, polar opposites, fertility, practicality, center of everything, balance and satisfying. Give me more for cross. Some of y'all need to get grounded. You need to get out in nature. Moon. Intuition. So some of y'all could need to balance your third eye. You can need to go stargazing or something like that. But it says intuition, subconscious, fantasy, romance, psyche, affection, recognition, invitation, sensuality, artistic, and divine feminine. Yeah, this is you, divine feminine. Yeah, you could be very spiritual. I feel like you're, you know, you speak your truth. What could be, uh, I don't even want to clarify that. I'm not going to say what could be happening. I mean, a bitch can't really ruin shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Let's just move on. What else? <laughs> Something about your intuition could be getting stronger. Okay, so we have garden, public venue, society. Yeah, it feels like something's getting ready to happen or somebody's getting ready to go to an event. But it says public venue, society, crowds, yeah, audience, party, meeting, events, a date, community, outdoors, playing the field. I mean, this has something to do with this raggedy ass community. So we have White Wolf here. Confidence, guidance, trust your inner knowing, and in instinctual freedom, believe in your power, resilience, and stamina. There is something that you're getting ready to do that's going to bring about a lot of attention. You could be nervous about it. Like, I don't know. You could be a bit nervous. So, yeah, we have a tower. So, there's something about a community or somebody's going to do something in public. Or this could have already happened for some of you. Okay, that's going to bring a tower. All because you're confident or whatever. But it says tower, standalone, guidance, government, institutions. Yeah, experience. Legal systems. Erudite. Erudite. Ego, tall, and corporations. Hierarchy, hierarchy. How you say that word? What's the tower? Yeah, mask. Yeah, somebody's mask is falling off. Disguise, conceal, ego, projection, hidden motive, persona, presentation, theater, performance. Yeah, putting on a show. Somebody's a loser. <laughs> What's garden here with public venues? Bridge, communication, unite, connecting. Integrate, share, collaboration, harmony, compromise, overcoming barriers. Somebody's just jealous. Yeah, whoever the sick ass bitch is. Illness, fatigue, stress, anxiety, worry. Reduce, restless, filth, decay, deteriorate, loss, theft, costly, fear, and nagging. That's all that somebody is. Somebody's just a loser. What else? The shit, the shit came out again. That mice car. <laughs> With the illness on it, fatigue, stress. Yeah, we got grasshopper, leap of faith, easy going, don't worry, moving on, prosperity. Says so what? <laughs> the car says so what? <laughs> exactly. A change in direction, birth of a son, and luck. 
uh, some of y'all could be having a baby if you're wishing okay it could be with the star on the page of cups or there could be some sort of new creative expression new idea that you're getting ready to put out there okay what else spirit snake exactly Deception, jealousy, betrayal, backstab, toxic, silent treatment, seduction, sexuality, counterproductive. Yeah, something's literally going against somebody. Whatever they're doing. We got mice, we got grasshopper, we got a snake here. A lot of reptiles and insects and whatever. What's mice? Yeah, somebody's a loser. <laughs> Shit came out in reverse. Trophy, win, victory, reputation, success, key, experience. Yeah, it's in the reverse. They're a loser. What's mice? The bitch over here sick, running her fucking mouth. Yeah, this in the reverse. The key is in the reverse. Solution, intelligence, genius, insight, clarity, open, breakout. Yeah, liberty, lock, unlock. Helpful, important, pay attention. Yeah, somebody's just... They look dumb. What's grasshopper? Head of the pack. Successful competition. Yeah, again, in the reverse. Drive, get it done, lead, finishing first, dominate, motivated, alpha male, persist, will to win. What's this grasshopper here? Coffin, child. Or something getting ready to end, I guess. I don't know. Death, loss, inactive, forgotten, discouraged, absent-minded, defeated, ending, dull, breakup, down and out, over and done. Somebody here could actually be passing away from an illness, though. For some of you, your ex did this to you, like your actual ex. This could be somebody's, another person's ex that you dated in the past. But for some of you, this is your own damn ex. They got these people to do this to. What's the coffin? Somebody could be trying to compete with your masculine. So we have yarn. Yeah, complicated circumstance. String along, puzzling, all tied up. Conundrum. Unraveled, tangled, hassle, and problems. What's coffin? Somebody, somebody sick. Tree. Grounded, fertility, lineage, health, vitality, yeah, roots, personal growth, past lives, evolving connection to source. Mm. Somebody in someone's family is getting ready to pass away. I don't know. What snake? Lily. Established, ambition, experience, sexuality, achievement, longevity, mature, career, virtue, development, and retired. Somebody's like jealous. They're just so jealous. What else for Snake with the Lily? <laughs> oh, man. Queen of Fire. This Queen of Wands. Whoever the fuck. Or oh, this could be you. You could have Leo on your chart. Something within 7 to 14 days. The Shrimp card. Leo energy. What's, the shrimp? What's Queen of Wands? Ship. Going places, adventure, vehicle, vacation, trip, enterprise, movement with the wind, swift, traveling overseas. What's Queen of Wands? Some of y'all could definitely be traveling or, excuse me, we got Stork. Yeah, transformation, change, active, renew, restless, arrive or depart, move, renovate. Yeah, pregnancy, birth, slender and tall. I told you, some of y'all getting ready to be pregnant, y'all. Are you pregnant with like a new damn idea? For most of you, it's probably that. For others of you, I mean, you actually could be pregnant, though. So, congrats on both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, this was your reading copy. I hope it resonated. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.